Hey guys, welcome back to Removal Before Race. Check that out behind me. That is a monster of the likes that we've never seen before. It is a concept car where the worlds of extreme luxury and extreme off-roading meet. And it's in fact one of the last projects that the famed designer Virgil Abloh ever partook in. And because of that, extremely, extremely special, but so many cool details around this. And I can't wait to show you all of it today and check out every little detail of the project My Back Coupe. So guys, here it is, Project My Back. It's really hard to explain just how big this thing is. It is almost six meters in length. That's a six meter, two door, battery electric, off-roading coupe. None of those words together make any sense, yet here it is designed. The attention to detail on this thing is absolutely meticulous. Here is a vehicle more at home on the mountain than on your typical Rodeo drive that you would associate a Maybach with. And this is all thanks to someone, look, he was the creative director at both Off-White and Louis Vuitton. And that's no mean feat at his young age. I mean, talk about challenging the status quo. Both Virgil Abloh and Gordon Wagner love to do that. And this thing is really an exaggeration of that thought process brought to life. I mean, it is ginormous. This is at my normal walking height, by the way, and you can see just how tall it is. Of course, the most intimidating thing is the front end. So many bits, I think, of Mercedes design language brought into this old Maybach history. Modern Maybach as well. Let's break it all down slowly, slowly. First of all, the thing that strikes me first, which has got nothing to do with Maybach, but a lot to do with off-roading, are the lights, which to me just spell G-Wagon. It's just all Galenda Wagon there for me. And that includes the extra auxiliary lights you have to light your mountain road at the bottom there. That just speaks G-Wagon, as does kind of the squarish shape of the entire vehicle as well. Not only that, we've also got your bull bar on the front, another very kind of Galenda Wagon touch. And then you've got the steel protection at the bottom, both on the front, and I'll show you the rear one later as well. All of that is your off-road design element. And then you see the Maybach bits, which are so obvious as well. Your classic modern Maybach grill, very much like our current S-Class and GLS Maybachs the same Maybach shape that I've shown you in all other reviews in the past. And then normally you'd have a, a chrome strip going across here with Maybach, but here we have a light bar, which is much like our EQ cars actually, which makes sense because this is a battery electric vehicle. Then the Maybach star, which I think is a great touch because to be ultimate luxury, it's got to have the star in the bonnet. So I love that. And you even have the chrome strip that goes across the hood just like in our modern Maybachs. But then you see this and you wonder what is going on here? Well, this is a battery electric vehicle and this concept shows that you could have solar panels across the length of this gigantic bonnet. Check this out. How cool of a concept is that? And in fact, this has been brought to reality with the EQXX that we had last on the channel, which actually has solar panels on the roof and is a real working car. So this is entirely possible. But yeah, just to emphasize kind of the size, I'm gonna kneel on one knee here. Look how big this thing is. I mean, it would chew me up. Nothing would be left of me if this thing hit me. It is gigantic and it's, I love the squareness of it. It looks so cool. The front bonnet is so, so long. It is massive. It's the biggest Mercedes bonnet I've ever, ever seen. Then you come to some other really nice details. For example, we've got our plastic wheel arches here, very common for off-roading vehicles particularly in Mercedes-Benz, but look inside there. You can see the Maybach logo for the bolts. That is so cool. And then the wheels, also super interesting. These are only 17 inches, right? Which when you look at the size of them, I mean, they are, the tires are huge, but the rims themselves, just 17 inches. Again, the bolts with the Maybach logos, how would you open those? I have no idea. It doesn't matter because it's a concept car, right? They're also finished in this lovely shade. This, by the way, the shade, Colorado beige, they call it. And I don't even know what tire company this is. I've not seen it before. But these, again, emphasizing the off-roading nature of this. Huge, look at the tread on that. You could go anywhere with this. Another really cool feature, look at the mud flaps here. Again, attention to detail with the Maybach logos. 
Now, before we move on to the rear and the greenhouse, there's a lot of cool things there. Just to, again, emphasize the size, this is so much bigger than your S-Class. Like, this is almost six meters, and just, just look at the size of it here. You can really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna use the iPhone's wide lens here to kind of show you. It's huge, it is ginormous. This wheel is bigger than I am, and the whole thing just impresses me so much. Now I'm gonna show you some details on the greenhouse, which is also so cool. Now, like many modern Maybachs, we've got the dual color thing going on here with the Colorado beige and the black, but what's interesting about the black on this, it's not black paint, because here you've got the solar panels, you assume it's black paint here, it's not. Look, all of this, this curves beautifully in the greenhouse, but it's all glass, look at that. You can see through that into the lovely interior we're gonna see in a minute. That's all glass, and it continues on the rear, look. All glass. And all that lovely glass is then protected by the bars, the protection bars on top. Again, so utilitarian. You've got obviously a massive roof rack on there. Again, more auxiliary lights in the same design. I'm gonna call it G-Wagon design because that's what it is to me. Instead of your typical wing mirror, got a camera here, which is all par for the cause when it comes to concept cars. More protection at the bottom here. Again, another Colorado beige bar. Also notice another typically my back thing here on your so-called C-pillar, it's the Maybach logo, as you have in every modern Maybach as well. <laughs> uh, look at that rear. What an absolute monster. It just doesn't finish, does it? It's huge. That's what she said. This is a beast. Um, again, lights mimics on the rear. I like the symmetry. I like the symmetry of that. These are nice. Again, I'm gonna call it that G-Wagon style. But then the chrome bar here with the Maybach logo, so typical of every single Maybach rear. We've seen this brake light on the back of my back concept coupes before in the past as well, splitting the rear. So it's nice to see that back in here. Strong my back DNA, I like that. It's not just totally random. I love how the lights protrude as well, like this, like as part of the body. There's no big cuts, but there's lots of curves in this thing. You can still appreciate the bicolor thanks to the, the edges on the side being Colorado beige. And like I said, you've got your steel protection on the rear as well. So beautifully done with like a brushed finished on the outside and the chrome, which is very my back on the inside. Really intimidating rear. And that overall three quarter from the rear, typical Mercedes Benz Coupe, but it's so bizarre because it's kind of G-Wagon as well. Again, your mud flaps on the rear here within the foliage and these gigantic mud terrain, huge tires, ridiculous size. I love these. Okay, so that's your rear. Now, let's have a look inside the car. This is quite nice, and look at this. Brushed aluminium finish with a bit of chrome on the edge. Very my back, there's a button in here to release the door. Just heard it. And check this out. Wow. That is insanely gorgeous. I mean, it just challenges typical automotive design and convention. I mean, just look at the door card, for example. If it was colored white, it could be part of a Stormtrooper spaceship with all the uh, angles and the shapes. The door handle is lovely here. But you've got kind of a metallic texture on that side. And then like a gloss beige, much like our paintwork on the outside. So that theme of the sandiness on the outside carrying in, your lock and unlock there as well. Here's your door handle. Again, look at the tiny Maybach logos within there. Attention to detail, I told you. And you'll see this kind of square, rounded square pattern continue throughout the interior. Particularly, you look at the seats, so we'll get to that in a minute. But I just want to give you an overarching view. So, so impressive. So guys, check that out. Before we had the big widescreen where you could play a video game on it, and then that comes instead to like a more analog looking screen, like you might recognize from classic Mercedes Benz. So you can see you've got your pitching there, you're rolling on the other side, your navigation. And then when you come on this side, you can see the other buttons we have, your hazard button, your driving modes are eco, comfort and sport. You've got your vehicle height, your brightness. You've got your speaker sound, all the switches. I love that. And look at the start stop button. How cool is that? So, so well done. And then we come out of there, you've got a really unique steering wheel. Again, a screen within the middle with the Maybach logo. Very reminiscent of kind of the Project One, AMG Project One uh, steering wheel shape and with the buttons on there. So yeah, not typical Mercedes-Benz at all. 
Again, you got the Maybach logo here as well. And then on this side again, more retro buttons. This is very much like the parking brake that we used to have in the 1960s classic Mercedes-Benz. So really nice to see that come back in here. You've got your auto lights, all your light switches here. And then like you have in the Galenda wagon, all your differential buttons there as well, because this is a proper off-roader, right? Then here we've got speakers within our cabin. Again, such a nice design. Lots of use of polished aluminum, which is that chrome look that you always have in my backs. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It should be because that's so my back. So driver's zone, really unique, very, very classic Mercedes Benz. I look at this and I'm thinking, you know, 300 SL, old S class, etc. Really nice. And that continues down here. You look at the brake pedal, the accelerator pedal, your foot rest. Really, really well done. Continuing on the other side, look at this. That is so cool. My back compass again with the logo in there. That of course protrudes as you want it to. Really, really nice. Again, speaker grills over here. Then you've got something quite interesting. There's a lot of accessories around in this car. This is the first one you'll notice. It's hidden within the door card as the door closes. But this is like a carrying, like a little box for you to take on adventuring. And it's on both sides of the car. So I'll show you the one on the other side as well. But again, it's challenging your typical conventions. Normally you wouldn't have anything there on a car. Again then, just like you see in classic Mercedes-Benz, you've got special areas for your luggage in the back. Luggage that's all tailored for the look of the car. And again, it's got, kind of got that square shape. I don't know if you can see through the glass. But then that reminds you of like when you used to have built to measure luggage for stuff like the 300 SL. And again, look at the speaker covers at the back there. And look at the whole thing. It's so square in the way it's shaped here. Just like the rest of the car, both the outside and in, really making use of those square shapes. So more accessory talk. We've got a bag over there. We've got a smartphone charger, as you can see over there to hook up. And I don't know, is that a box that will come out? Do you guys think? I'm not really sure, but yeah, very interesting again. So we found something here within the door card. It's quite strange. I don't know what it is. Do you guys think it could be like a light or something? Possibly? I don't know. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Anyway, talk about the king of all accessories. If we're talking accessories, there is an ax here hidden within our car. A Maybach Axe, it's actually branded Maybach, look. Emergency use only. So this thing is zombie apocalypse proof as well. I can't tell you how much little things like that really please me. I love it. Now the seats themselves, so interesting. They're a kind of an institution in themselves in the interior because they do so much and there's so many parts to them. First of all, that square design like we saw on our door handle here carries across. It's like a gloss, like a hard ceramic or plastic finish. You've got the Maybach logo within there as well, which is gorgeous. And it, it all continues across here. Rather wonderful. Here are your seat belts and not in the typical place. The leather itself is actually stained with coffee, which I love because you guys know I'm an absolute coffee addict. You've got a pulley handle here, which again, not very typical. This is houndstooth in your headrest and they've continued that for the blanket in the back as well, as you can see there. But then you suddenly see, look, the seat can lie down. And this is all about adventuring. This is also a place for you to sleep. And another cool thing, you can pull the seats out and you can take them with you on your adventure. How cool is that? Obviously you've got seats at the back that kind of fold out. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are seats in there that'll actually flip up. And then you can have this as a four seater, I believe. And again, attention to detail. Look at the seat hinges. A, they're just beautiful in terms of, you know, the matte black finish. But look at the actual bolts of the Maybach. There's so many Maybach logos on this stuff. I love it. And look, I just noticed a couple of buttons in there that I didn't notice before. So many little details to unpack. I've probably missed a load. Forgive me for that. But the overall effect is an interior and an exterior like you've never seen before. Really challenging the idea of what an off-roading car should do. And we keep talking about G-Wagon. The other thing about G-Wagon is doors. Listen to this. It's that typical G-Wagon sound. I love it. So guys, there's your Project My Back. Such an example of when different concepts or different forces of design come together. A, with someone like Virgin Abloh and Gordon Wagner. And B, these two concepts of luxury and off-road hitting each other and creating this giant, gorgeous monstrosity. I love it so much. It, it just challenges the way that we think about things. And it's so, so cool. I'd love to see a production version of this. I know there's loads of you who would as well. But for now, it's a concept, one of the greatest that they've ever made and a real homage to what Virgil was able to do. 
by challenging normal conventions. So I love it. If you guys have enjoyed this, please do like, and most of all, subscribe to RBR, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope I'm